tramily. It's a collective noun. A tramily is just a bunch of hikers you choose to hike with. You hike together for all sorts of reasons. But for a period of time, those colleagues are your tramily. You plan, you walk, you eat, you rest, and you play together. Smash that like button. Woo! Like and subscribe. My first tramily included Mountain Goat and Giggles. We actually started on the same day. That is cool. There you go. <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> they very much wanted to hike their own hike in their own way. And they succeeded. They got there. What can I say? He's a great guy. We hiked together for hundreds of miles. Um, and we were good at getting hitches. Picture. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, right into Gatlinburg. That's right, we got it. Renegade, my fellow Brit. Very energetic. Very knowledgeable about hiking. Stan, Murray, Shelter. Just for a quick break. Oh, and does he love cards? He does. He got injured. He stopped. He found Firemaster. They summited together. <laughs> if you walk with one, you get the other free. Guns. A great, great guy. No nonsense. We hiked together for 250 miles. I went walking. Yeah. With no clue. <laughs> and soon I was blue. There you go. But then I met Daniel and everything was real. Thank you. The end. The end. <laughs> we had some great times together. Until unfortunately, his Achilles gave out and he had to stop. That was a real, real shame. He was a real trooper. Well, you know, this guy grew up here. Yeah. Like, I don't know where the fuck I'm at or what roads go where. That was a long time. Guns cares. He cooked us a meal. And later on, he turned up and gave us some fantastic trail magic. Thank you, Guns. This lady was a fast hiker. So fast, I had to try and record it. Okay, here we go. Holy shit. Our paths crossed for four or five hundred miles. But eventually, scoops just disappeared into the distance. Great lady. What can I say about Bob? She brought a ray of sunshine to the day. Well... That is, if you could actually keep up with her. I'm documenting the documenters. Without Bob, our visit to New York wouldn't have been anywhere near as much fun. She's great. But in the end, she sped off to her own summit day. Thank you, Bob. Freelancer, mm. good companion, knowledgeable about the world. We did the Virginia Triple Crown together. We hiked together for over 450 miles. Just hiking along in mid afternoon. It's still hazy. Rain seems to have stopped. Just hiking along. The pictures don't show it, but it was bloody fast uphill, and he used to wait for me and tell me I was only a few minutes behind. Yeah, right. Freelancer left the trail around halfway on his own terms. 
Van Gogh was one of two hikers I saw over a period of over 100 days. We walked together for 250 miles. Then I never saw him again until the final summit day on day 145. Incredible. Andy McMillan, God damn it, will you do it again? <laughs> Andy McMillan, Van Gogh, Wichita, Kansas, in the middle of this country. And uh, what was the other question? Oh, I'm I'm 38 years new. Early morning, rush down the mountain for about three miles. Yeah, we talked about skipping it. Candy. <laughs> I tied up with Blazes when I met Full Milk at the end of May in Virginia. We slipped through Maryland before he left the trail in Duncannon. He came back a week later and by guitar then, he was a day ahead. Just shows. You never know what the trail's going to provide or what it's going to do. But he summited, so that's the big thing. Well done, Blazes. Gosh, bagel. When I looked back at all my photos, I realised Bagel and I had leapfrogged each other and walked together over a period of over 120 days. Bagel took time off, hosted us at her house and still caught up and we summited on the same day. She is tenacious, she is fast. In fact, all the women are fast. Here she comes! Yay! I'm Eileen. I Nopes snuck up on us in early June. We walked through New Jersey, New York and Connecticut together before he accelerated off into the sunset. He had a pregnant partner at home, so the pressure was well and truly on to finish. Engaging guy, funny guy, a pleasure to walk with. Enjoy fatherhood. Sometimes you have people who are a few days ahead or a few days behind you. You know they exist from logbook entries or hostel visits, but you never actually meet them. Billy Goat was one of those. From the land of the true north, I'll give you Billy Goat. Are you ready? Yeah. My name's Katie, my trail name's Billy Goat. I'm from Ontario. I forgot what I was supposed to say, is that it? I'm 23 years old. 23, is that it? <laughs> when I met him, Yogi was walking with Billy Goat. He was chatty and funny, and we hiked the 100 mile wilderness together. Once you put him in front of a camera, though, he became a bit shy. Paxton, uh, Yogi from Massachusetts. You gotta do mine again. And you are how old? I'm 23. 23. That wasn't one of the Baby questions. Face. That wasn't one of the questions. Some hikers you only see for 50 or 100 miles, like pink flocks. Others leave their mark in log books, like Reese's Cup. People are going to wonder what all those Eurovision Song Contest entries are about. It was our resident Swede. Or hikers like Tailwind, who help you through the presidentials. Or work for stay characters, like Doughboy. They're all an important part of the journey. Of what? The WHO officially said that aspartame can cause cancer. But they said that the, the threshold, which is safe, it's 11 bottles a day. 11 bottles of, of what? Of, uh, of Diet Coke. Oh, gosh. I knew of Ricola for a very long time, but we only got together for the last 200 miles. Um, my name is Emil. My trail name is Ricola, and I'm from Belgium, Ghent. And I'm a badass motherfucker. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. And then there was Slim Pickens, a bloody talented guy. Mm -hmm. It was funny and silly, 
and he carried his guitar for a thousand miles. Don't you hack that AT, that'd be awfully dumb. He's the guy who texts this morning. <laughs> I, you know, I don't think you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, we have no view. Sit for slim. We hiked the 100 mile wilderness and he summited the day before. Old school. Couldn't have done the trail without him. What a guy. Love him. <laughs> so old school. How many miles in how many hours? <laughs> I'm not sure about the hours, but it's uh, 34 miles was yesterday's total. <sighs> Old post street legend, post street school. <laughs> That's a lot of miles. It sure is. <laughs> when I needed a break, he picked me up and hosted me until I was ready to go again. And then he turned up, supported us some more. Thank you. Full milk. We were together for the last 1,200 miles, from Front Royal at the end of Virginia to the summit of Katahdin. And for a 1,000 of those miles, it was full milk, Danny Boy and I. What an amazing camping spot. The son of a dairy farmer found the half gallon challenge very easy. I would not have completed the Appalachian Trail without full milk. He was always there, practical, solid, a real friend, and a bear can full of snacks. 2,000 miles. <laughs> yeah. More to go. Ready? Yep. Uh, Matt Shefferstein, Verona, New York, uh, full milk, and 38 years old. Thank you. Oh my, Danny boy. Sometimes quiet. Sometimes mad, but he loves his seats. We hooked up halfway through Pennsylvania. Danny Boy was in charge of planning. Thank goodness. Action. <laughs> Every now and then, Danny Boy had a security meeting, to which I excused myself. 2,000 miles. It's the dog's bollocks. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like a cat in water. Danny Boy was fun to be with. And in the end, we summited together. Matt, Danny Boy, and I. Totally fucking different without shoes on, man. <laughs> yeah, it's slickery. Yeah. Off you go. Yeah. My name is Jan. My trail name is Danny Boy. I'm from Kansas. And it's a dog's bollocks. <laughs> Smash that like button. Woo! Like and subscribe. <laughs>